This is Gosen's Content AI module, a platform packed with AI tools. And what caught my eye was the Block Wizard module and the Keyword Idea module. So let's try them out. Gozen is a company with four different products. They started out with a simple pop-up builder called Optinly, which I have reviewed previously, and then they built an email engage platform where you, through email marketing, can engage with all your visitors and users called Gozen Growth. And then they've built Gozen Forms, which I've also previously reviewed on the channel. And for Optinly and Gozen Forms, I will leave links in the description below. But now they started to take a step further and build an AI platform because AI is basically everywhere. And I think they can create some synergy between all of these different products if they do it well. But right now they are very separated. And what will be interesting to see with Gozen is how they will distribute their different resources. Because with Optinly, it is a product that has not been developed so much on lately. And Gozen Form, which I've previously reviewed and is the most recent product, they have done some more and it's a more refined product. So it will be interesting to see where Gozen's content AI platform will go in the end. First off the bat, then they have a ton of different AI tools to generate blog titles, FAQs, company bios, even summarized text. And this was how we saw it done in the past, where we choose the tool we want to work with, and then we generate text based on an input or a prompt. But today that has completely changed with ChatGPT. So now we are more used to this chat style of generating text. So instead of each time we need to generate a piece of text, then we go into the tool that is relevant for that. Then we just have one place where we get all the output we want based on the input. And that can be anything from an entire blog post to a blog post title, company bio, a tweet, or something completely different. We are used to the chat, so I think it will be interesting to see whether they will develop a more chat a like feature in the future, because it will make it a lot easier so we don't have to go into each of the different tools to generate text. The keyword idea module was the first module that I tested, and if you're using short tail keywords, then it definitely works and it gives you an output but as soon as you start inputting long tail keywords, then there's simply no data for it. So this is not working very well compared to what else we can use with Ahrefs, SEMrush, and those types of tools, because we want to work with long tail keywords. The short tail keywords are nearly impossible to rank for for a lot of websites. And another thing I noticed is that there's no opportunity score and we can only sort on one specific column. I want to be able to sort on everything and the opportunity score is going to help me figure out what keywords to basically focus on. And I think it clearly shows that this is a very new product and the keyword idea module is very new as well. It is missing a lot of functionality and most importantly data. It is missing so much data so we can run long tail keywords on it. But the next module that I tested is the block wizard. And the block wizard here reminded me a lot of the way that ScaleNut is doing it, where we have the multiple steps where we give the input. And to begin with, I tested out how to start freelancing. This is my query that I tested with. And overall, I think it worked very well. To begin with, we have to generate a title and you get three different titles to choose between. This is generated by AI. And the next step was the introduction step. And again, I feel it's a decent output. It is matching the tone that I set in the first step. And overall, the text makes sense, especially also for the title that I have chosen. But now for the third step, which is the outline. And this is where it falls a little bit behind because the outline step for me is super messy. I really can't get an overview. I had to just erase everything and start all over to get an overview of what it is that I'm writing right now. This is a place that I would really change it up. Maybe only start with H2s to begin with because the H3s makes it so messy. As soon as I start to remove some of the H3s and maybe also some of the H2s, I start to get an overview but it is just completely messy and I would really like to see a touch up on this and maybe pull some data or some headings from the competition on this specific keyword that we are actually targeting right now because we want to see what is already working and then we can add our own spin on it. Now the next step is the most important step and this is where we need to generate the entire blog post. 
And here it is generating text for each section, which is a great thing. Scale not is doing the same thing. The only problem here is that the text it is generating for each of these different headings are, in my opinion, completely off. It doesn't make sense for the heading and I'm really missing a common thread through the entire article. The different sections and headings, it's like it's completely off and they're not matching together. So again, this is really a step that needs to be fixed because compared to scale not, they're really great at holding this common thread through the entire article down to the conclusion. And the conclusion is the last step of using Gozen's content platform. And the conclusion, it does fairly well. We have to remember here that the conclusion is not summarizing the entire article, which would be great. It is generating a short descriptive text based on the title. And even though it's a decent output, I would really like to see a summarized text of the entire article, maybe a couple of sections. And what I'm also missing here, which Scalenut has, is a simple FAQ section where I can ask questions and the questions are answered very simple below each question in a very simple format. And this is something that works very well with Scalenut and they could simply implement this as well at Gozen. But now with the article done, you can export it either as a PDF, a Word or into Google Docs. And what I'll recommend you to do here is to run it through an NLP editor so you can optimize it for SEO, of course, and especially for the search phrase that you're focused on. You can watch my review of search graph of how you're doing that simple step by step. Now the closest competitors to Gozen's content platform are Scalenut and maybe Jasper. I think Scalenut's block wizard is definitely the closest competition to Gozen's content AI platform, but Gozen is still a lot behind. They don't have the same functionality as Scalenut and the output they generate for the entire blog post was just completely off. So I think they really need to dive in and focus again, focus on the specific tools if they're not developing a chat module and then make them better. I think the block wizard, no matter what, whether they're using a chat module or not, will still be great to have because we're guided a lot through what we need to add to get the best blog post possible. So that they should definitely keep, but I think all the other tools could easily be replaced by a simple chat module, which we have seen a lot of other AI tools do and which ChatGPT is basically also doing now. Another thing is Gosen's pricing. It is really not matching the functionality you get. You can get started for free, get 2000 words and just simply generate everything you need. But as soon as you exceed the 2000 words and you have to pay 99 US dollars for only 10,000 words generated. If we just compare to Scalenut, with Scalenut you get 100,000 words generated for only 39 US dollars. So I think this is definitely a point they need to look into and lower the pricing at least until it's a better product. But one thing that they're working on to make the product better is an AI chat. And this is definitely something that I see relevant for the entire Gozen platform because the chat not only can be used to generate AI content, but if they integrate it into their other modules, then they can help generate text for pop-ups, for the email marketing, and just overall be a better platform. They really need to create this common thread to all of their products and make it into a more common product instead of these four very separated products. I want to give Gozen's content platform two and a half stars. The product is simply not ready yet and they're trying to do too many things at the same time. But if you want to watch my review of Scalenut, which is an alternative to Gozen's content platform, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.